David. It's your old friend Robert Dean Steele here. would like to chat with you here for a moment on how prayer is so essential in working hard. Colossians 3.23 says, we're supposed to work hard. Now, many people have and know how to work hard. But not just working hard has to do with, you know, the vocation. But on the character. And where does that character come from? It comes from that time and place of prayer, where we spend time with God, and we get God's view on how we should work. You know, what's always amazing to me is how wrong our priorities really can be. I've met people who have worked hard on so many things and have gotten it wrong. Why? Because they don't have God's concept on hard work. You see, <clears throat> when you spend time in prayer, then you see what is really important. You understand that your relationship with God is important. You understand the relationship with your spouse if your marriage is important. You understand that your children are important if you have children. You understand that, you know, it's what God wants you to do that you need to do. I've been a pastor for a lot of years, David, and um, one of the things that I discovered very, I'm, I'm not going to say early in my ministry, but, you know, um, probably when, I was probably in the ministry about six years. My son, uh, Robert, I think was somewhere between three and a half and a four years old, and I had been working really hard in the church. I mean, I had been putting hour after hour in the church, and one day I came home from uh, a long day of working. I hadn't come home for lunch or anything like that. Just all, and it was about six o'clock at night. And I walked in, and he says, "Hello, Pastor Daddy." Well, right then and there, I realized that my I was working hard, but I was working hard in the wrong manner. My priorities were noble. My priorities were, you know, as far as the church world was concerned, quite, you know, good. But you see, what was happening was, I was gaining, you know, reputation and favor with the church world, but I was losing my family. It was right then and there that I went up and I scooped him up and I said, I'm not Pastor Daddy, I'm Daddy. And it was in that moment that I realized that my priorities were wrong. Well, I remember going to prayer that night and saying, Lord, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that, you know, in my zeal to do your work, I was losing the most important thing, and that was time with my family. And it was amazing how that God was able to take that, that very important little incident and use it as a catalyst to change my whole view on, uh, on my family. I began to pray for my family every single day. I prayed for Robbie and Rachel and Rebecca and Ryan. And then, of course, when their spouses came along and my grandchildren came along, I prayed for them every single day. It's in that place of prayer that I understand I need to work hard. But I need to work hard on something which is more important, my family. You see, prayer is real work, folks. You say, well, you know, I pray. But no, praying for people is real work. That's the real value. That's the real important thing. You say, why is it really important? Well, it's the one thing that Jesus is doing right now. In fact, it's the highest calling. We are important. We are to work hard. There's no doubt about it. God has called us to be examples of, of good labor in our world today. But what we need to do is we need to have the right priorities when it comes to that. And that time and place of prayer will give us those what right priorities. We'll understand that our relationship with God is number one. Number two, our relationship with our family is number two. Number uh, two. Then after that, of course, those that are in our sphere of friendship and then our vocation is after that. Many of us men, for example, we, we put our, vaca our vocation before our family, and that's wrong. We are to work hard, but we need to have the right priorities, and we need to have them in place. And only that place of prayer can help us to keep the focus. That's why we need to pray, and we need to say, Lord, let me work hard, but let me also work hard in the right manner. Because, Lord, at the end of the day, it's not my vocation that, that's going to be sitting by my bed when I'm sick and dying. It'll be my family. It'll be my friends. 
So let me work on that before I work on my so-called career. And you get that in the place of prayer. David, isn't that amazing? Well, thank you for listening, David. You have yourself a great and godly day. It's your old friend, Robert Dean Steele. <laughs>